Hello everyone, TMT Designs here, known as Thomas Turner, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create interactive buttons inside Adobe Animate CC. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is import some images. These are just some social media icons, and I've imported them to my library. Okay, so I'm going to create a new layer and just drag the Facebook onto a layer. Uh, call it Facebook. Facebook. Do Control T and just shrinking it I'm just gonna do this with every single image what I have so that's my Facebook layer we can test this by just selecting the I tool I showing tool that's it and crossing it okay so now on layer one so I'm gonna type in um, which YouTube And I'm just gonna do the same, make it less thin, make it do, make them roughly the both size, uh, both the same size. Uh, uh, and I'm gonna create one more layer, and this will be for Instagram. Okay, so these buttons will be going to different scenes in Adobe Animate. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Control T again. I could make them all the same size, but just for the tutorial purposes, I'm not going to. There we go. Okay, so now we've got three layers with three different icons. These can be images, and yes, that's how we're going to do them today okay so we've got three different bng images okay so i'm going to now create a new scene so i'm going to go uh, insert and then scene so now we've created a new scene and we have scene one and two if we go to the view we've got scene one and two all right so now i'm going to go to scene one okay and what i'm going to do is create the uh, uh what did i do I do not know what I did but anyway so now I'm just gonna test the layers and they seem to be working fine okay so now I'm gonna convert this to a symbol right click and click convert to symbol or F8 and now I'm gonna call the symbol anything but I'm going to create I'm going to create a graphic image I'm gonna do this to all of them convert to symbol graphic convert to symbol okay so what I'm gonna do for now I'm going to create a quick animation so I'm gonna create a motion tree create motion tree. okay I'm just gonna move this around this is just gonna be a random animation um, for the Instagram layer just gonna make it a bit bigger Bam. that's gonna be that and for this one I'm going to create a motion tree as well this is completely random and now for the first one one thing where you got to make sure that all the layers that end at the same point so now I'm just going to create a motion tree in here alright so now if we play this yep so now they all move and they'll all stop okay doesn't matter where they are so now we've done this it keeps repeating so now what I'm going to do I'm going to go to code snippets so I'm going to go to let me just find it all right yeah yeah window code snippets and there we go and now I'm going to go to action script I'm going to select the one which I want to have a uh, action on so yeah so this so now it's stopped it's gonna stop here I'm just gonna stop there so we're all gonna stop similar position okay and I'm gonna to go to actions and I'm going to go to stop um, the timeline navigation I'm gonna put stop at this frame make sure we're on frame 70 make sure we go selected I'm gonna put stop at this frame double click and now this is inserted some frame I mean some code into frame 71 on this layer 
as we can see because it allows to make it bigger but yeah so on scene one it stopped at action scene seven i mean at so it stopped at frame 71 okay so now i'm just going to do this with all of them stop at this frame stop at this frame all right so now we've got three different stops but they're all they're all stopping at the same position as long as you've got one it doesn't matter about the rest so now instead of repeating it'll just stop okay so now for the first button i'm going to select the facebook button i'm going to click uh, go to scene and play it so i'm going to double click this and now it's inserted it here so now now if we read the code it says movie clip one add event listener um f1 is in the code go to scene um and then click to go to scene all right and then it says go to scene three i'm going to go to scene two i want it to go to scene two and now if i go to now if i click Control enter this previews the animation and it's just repeating but now if we look here it's stopped but now if i click on the facebook button it does it again because it's going to scene two and then it's going straight to scene to scene um, one so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to view and i'm going to go to scene two so we can see it actually work i'm just going to insert a random image again um, by going import import to library i'm just going to find something random I got the Google logo here, and I'm just gonna go to uh, the scene two, and I'm just gonna go to the Google. I'm just gonna add the Google there. I'm just gonna shrink in the size, so we can see that it actually goes to scene two. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this frame. I mean this frame. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go to like frame 80, and I'm gonna click insert frame so now that's just gonna stay still for 83 um, keyframes okay so now to test this I'm gonna go control and enter so it's spreading all these up and now once it's stopped I can click on the Facebook button and it's gonna go to here and then it's going back so what I'm gonna do since I want it to stop on this scene since I want it to stop on this scene I'm going to do the stop script again so by doing this, I'm going to go window, code snippets, action time, time down navigation, stop at this frame, double click, and now it's stopped at frame 80 on scene 2, as you can see here. And yeah, so now if I click, so now it does this, and now I'm going to click on the Facebook, and now it's just going to stop here, nothing else, there's nothing interactable, so now it's just going to stop. So if this if you wanted a digital advertisement or poster like actually interactive on your website you could save it as a flash player or different um, formats like that and you can just make it interactive like this in the future video I might show you how to add it to a website and embed it and do all that but yeah you can just export it to the file type you want and then just import on your website anyways Thanks for watching everyone, hope this has helped in some shape or form and see you in the next one.